Maru. Maybisi was growing more powerful. He had studied much Kasai lore, and was now dealing with their gods and demons. His heart had been removed, taken from his chest and encased in crystal, securing his immortality. It was only a matter of time before he found those marked and restored the ancient spells. We shall revisit Grizz and Barmusu one last time, but for now we must return to Rao and Tati twenty years in the future. Daiharu, an impossible forest hidden safely atop a mile-high mesa, acres of ancient woodland, left untouched because of its improbable location. It is in Daiharu where the Kasai hold the mark of Usu, a terrible spell with the power to free their gods and demons. Secure this spell, Spirit Guide, but be aware that it is guarded by a tribe of the Bear God and by another Gangoon priest. The tribe of the Bear God. Vicious warriors who live to fight and wear their opponents' bones as armor. Rao's exploits against his tribe are legendary. Ten years before, he was tricked into entering one of their forests and barely got out alive. As we approach Dai Haru, I remember how he became more withdrawn, sharpening his blades and straightening his arrows. He knew more than anyone what we were about to face.
Tati had barely spoken since Gris's death. Only in her dreams did we hear her crying out, arguing with some unseen foe. Her hatred for the Kasai was at a boiling point. She was thrilled by combat and took too much pleasure in the killing. We feared that dark forces within her were seeking control and would strive to use her hatred against her. The tribe of the Bear God fought hard. War their way of life, death something they didn't fear. Although desperately evil and whores to the Kasai, Rao respected them. They cherished the sweat of battle as he did. Never had he met a more capable foe.
Many tales tell of a savior who will unite the land during a time of great darkness. Orphaned and cursed with the mark of Cree, she will seek retribution and lay down all who oppose her, terrible in her fury. But her many battles are not where the fate of man shall be determined. Inside her soul is where the real conflict rages. An emissary of the gods of light, cursed by the gods of night, she will walk a knife edge between good and evil. She is destined to be queen, to unite the kingdoms under one flag. Be that flag Rakus or Kasai. Book of the Damned, the Queen, 2-6.
and steel we fought our way through the ranks of warriors and as we approached the shrine to their bear god we recognized the familiar stench of a gangun priest Murderers of my brethren, it is time for retribution.
by the gods of light. Could it be that the Kasai now had the knowledge to free him from his ancient bonds? 